It is time for phonics. Today is Tuesday, May 26th. And as you can see here, I have some interesting words. I was speaking to some of the fourth grade teachers and they were telling me these are some of the words that they were learning. And I said, holy cow, that looks interesting. But why did you put them like that? It says scorching, broiling, sizzling, burning, hot, and warm. And I said, oh my gosh, it, it kind of looks like it's going from kind of warm to like super hot, like a thermometer. And that's exactly what it was. And I said, why would you be doing that? And they said, because if you know how to say one thing, like hot, something's hot, what are some other words you could use for hot? That makes your reading and your writing more interesting if you don't just say hot. The weather was hot. Meh. The weather was sizzling. That's way more exciting. So I said, well, that seems like a fantastic lesson for me to share with second grade because we are trying to make words and study them to become word collectors. So making something like this would only help us learn more words for the same thing. And so they said, well, one thing that fourth graders do are make word thermometers. And I said, how do you make word thermometers? And they said, well, look at a picture of something and then think of words that go with it. So I did. Look at, look at this guy. Now, I don't know about you, but he certainly doesn't look happy. He, he doesn't look very happy. So I said, well, he kind of looks angry. So let's do word cards for angry. And they said, yeah, that's exactly what you should do. Do some word cards, put them uh, in any order and have your students talk about putting them on a word thermometer. Now, I said, well, not everybody has a word thermometer at home. And so then I created this and I would share with you guys for you to put these word cards for angry from mm, angry and then like super angry. So these aren't really going from warm to hot but they're going from not so angry to really angry. Well, why would we do that? I'm gonna tell you. We're doing that because when we're writing and reading from now on, we're gonna know, first of all, what some of these weird words mean and to use them in our writing to make it more interesting. Oh, the bear was mad. Mm, the bear was furious. You could see his white teeth. That's way more interesting to read and to write. So, boys and girls, you have a job today. To help you with your word thermometer, I will have one of these for you. And word cards for angry. And I will put some other word cards on there. Some word cards might be word cards for mean big, small, nice, the loudness of your talk. This is probably one of my favorites because when you're writing and you're saying, oh, we went to the mall and, and Lucy said, or we went to the mall and Lucy yelled to me, that's more interesting to read. And you can think about the voice or imagine better what's really happening in the story. And then we have the speed of your walk. She walked through the park. She shuffled through the park. She strolled through the laundromat. There's so many different ways. So today, your job is to create a word thermometer for one, two, three sets of words if you want. 
They're all on Seesaw. So head over there and then you have a template with a little thermometer and you can put them in order from not so fast of a walk to really, really fast or quiet to loud or kind of nice to so incredibly nice or so, so small to not really small, that small. Same thing for big, okay? Can't wait to see your work. See you tomorrow.